So now the original short of Mama was obviously only three minutes long. Yeah. Now, with your expertise helping the wonderful siblings, mm -hmm. what do you do to ensure that, you know, the terrifying factor of that three minute short is not diluted when it becomes a full length film? Well, what we, what we wanted was a, a story that was emotional and we wanted a, a story that you were interested in watching even without the ghost. You know, even without the ghost, the story of the adoption, the story of a, a couple adapting to becoming parents mm -hmm. all of a sudden, is interesting to watch. It's interesting to watch the relationship with the girls and, and, and Jessica's character, mm -hmm. Annabelle. Even if you remove the ghost, that's the first rule. The second rule is when we went for scares, we went for scares that are not the bloody, gory, you know, brutal, found footage, whatever is common nowadays. Mm -hmm. We went for very classic, very controlled, very elegant, mm -hmm. but very creepy scares. Very creepy. So yeah, so you can, you can actually, uh, you but definitely will be more scared for a character that you uh, care for mm -hmm. than for a character you don't care for. So those are sort of sandwiched into mm -hmm. creating the movie. So now, we obviously know by now that you have a lot of monsters within your armory of uh, the great imagination of yours. Yes. Now, what was your input like on Mama's look and feel and to really capture the essence of that character? I think Andy, Andy came up immediately with the idea of Mama, like a Modigliani painting, really elongated, and uh, obviously working with DDT, which is a company I used in uh, Devil's Backbone, Hellboy, Pan's Labyrinth, that won the Oscar for that, uh, had a big, big uh, sense of relief, uh, brought a sense of relief to the process. But, you know, the, the, the water-based hair movement uh, is something that we were careful to explore. And I think uh, the input was mainly supporting Andy's vision. Mm -hmm. So uh, the film is not in short supply of strong female characters. Yes. What do you think AMC audiences are going to be the most attracted to with Annabelle, Jessica Chastain's character? You know, uh, the movies I produced or directed, uh, they can have uh, very strong characters, female characters. Uh, the Orphanage mm -hmm. was like that. Uh, Pan's Labyrinth was like that. Julius mm -hmm. Highs and this one. And uh, Don't Be Afraid of the Dark. They mm -hmm. are characters that you can relate to because they are struggling with uh, uh, emotions that you can identify with, that are everyday emotions. Uh, inadequacy, uh, uh, sort of shortcomings as a as a mother or a surrogate mother, mm -hmm. and so forth. And basically, a woman that is so in love with with a man that she has to really get used to something that she was completely opposed mm -hmm. uh, to. That she has to literally struggle with motherhood. So, final words for AMC audiences: um, Why should they see this movie? Well, if they want to be scared in a beautiful, elegant way, that will follow you home. You should watch Mama. Hey guys, if you like this video, make sure to stop what you're doing and subscribe to our AMC Theaters YouTube channel to keep up to date on all the movie news, editorials, and our AMC Movie Talk Show. Also, make sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter to hear about all our special promotions, contests, and prize giveaways.